Every CNC machine needs an operation system that can handle and basically trigger all the components and functions that the system has. On Datron machines, we exclusively have the Datron Next Control. So it's our own development. And the idea behind the software was that both machinists and those who are not trained on CNC equipment can handle all the essential and basic operations, just like setting up a zero point, um, taking or having track, keeping track of the tools, whole tool management, loading programs, like all these basic steps that a worker on a shop floor needs to work with every day. So we now take a closer look at the interface and how we can get to all the, um, the different functions. When you take a look at the interface, you can see there are like big tiles um, that gives us access to like different um, areas of the software. So let's start like a little bit from the top. We got the CAM assistant, which basically would guide us through the entire process of loading a program, setting up an origin, um, checking if all the tools are available in the tool magazine, simulating the part, and then starting the um, DNC file. I can also go directly to my program management. So there is a list of either a local device on the computer or your network device where you can directly post from your CAM system onto the machine and then just check and load the files. If you have already loaded a file that you run frequently, you can see there is like a little preview window of, a, of the simulated 3D view. Um, so that gives you like a visual feedback um, of the program where your origin is located and so on. We also got the tool management. So depending on which tool magazine you have in your machine, we got a tool assist here, an external tool changer. It tells you which tools are in the, in the magazine, article number or just the category, like is it just an end mill, is it a countersink, is it a drill bit. Um, it tells you exactly which tools are in and it would also check if, if you post a program directly from a CAM system, it would check that every tool that you have programmed on your computer is in the machine and will tell you you need to set this or another tool up. The most interesting part and exciting part though is to work with a camera system in order to set up your origin. Because what we do have is on the z-axis there is a little camera which gives us a live view of the machining area. When I go to set up workpiece and I get this live view I can just swipe over my screen and move the entire gantry with this. So I can basically drive my machine around just by dragging my finger over the screen. Now if we wanna say, let's, or we, we just say, we want the origin of this little block in the machine in the center of the block. So what I'm doing is, I can zoom, I put that more or less in the middle of my screen, I can zoom in, and then I change from positioning to drawing. And then I just draw a rectangle around it and it would automatically give me this rectangular shape which I can still manipulate. It gives me one point probing touch off point on the top of the material and five around all the edges, four for each side and an additional one for an angle rotation. So if the rotation is a little bit off, that would also um, be detected. When I click on start cycle, a 3D probe comes down and touches off the part. So it would now set the origin in the center of this part and because it had two points on the back end of the part, it would also make a perfect alignment in terms of the rotation around the z-axis. So this is an extremely 
nice feature when it comes to parts that need a second operation. So let's just imagine you have a part which is being cut out on the vacuum first and then you need to flip it and realign it from the uh, second side and you want the features to match and to have everything in position. Um, you just need the probe, you can use the camera or you can integrate cycle in your automatic program and the machine will set the origin right where it should be. We also have a 3D view. If you load a program, it will simulate the entire code by the dimension of the stock material which comes in the code and it would simulate this entire program and give you a 3D preview. You get status information like a run screen whenever you hit OK and whenever you start a cycle or a program, it will give you where, what is your RPM, what is your current feed rate, which tool is in and so on. I can do manual operations like face milling operations, like some standard drilling and contouring cycles. If you need something just to be like very quick and dirty on the machine, um, if you just want to face off a part, you can just do that right at the machine. No need for a cam system. And you could also manipulate your program in the editor. So if you want to go through the code and make changes, um, that's also possible. On the lower end of the screen, we have the function of parking, which brings our gantry in a back position and releases the door. And I could also start the vacuum pump or a dust extraction system if that's an option on the machine. Beside the standard cycles and the standard functions of the software, you can also add options to it. One option would be so-called the protected areas, protected zones, which means you can define virtual solids like a vacuum table in the software and tell the machine this is a no-go area for you. So whenever you do something wrong in your programming and you would go too deep, it would say this is not allowed, it gives you an error. Another option is the sister tool management, which means if you have like big series running, multiple parts running and toolware is a factor and is a thing that, that would come up over time, you could equip your tool magazine with similar tools or with the same tools just a couple of times and after a certain time or after a tool breakage, which can be detected by the length sensor, um, the machine would automatically swap the tool and just continue with the job. Whenever you have a situation where you have a part that is a little bit unflat, or if you have like different like height tolerances from one edge to the other, uh, you might be forced to compensate these, like the little offsets in, in Z. For this, we can use a software option called Surface Profile. And if you take a look at this part, I can see this, it's like a little bit bent. It's like an, like an S shape. Our 3D probe would basically map this field and do like a lot of touch off points. You can define that and create like a topographical, yeah, like entire field or map of the surface. And let's say you program a contour or an engraving one tenth deep. It would just follow this this shape and give you a perfect, a perfect engraving on this. So this could be really helpful if you have often materials that are, that have big tolerances. I think especially in plastic materials, this could be a, a real issue. A brand new software feature is the Datron Live app. The Datron Live app gives you access to your machine wherever you are in the world basically. So you can take your phone or your, or your computer and just lock onto the machine. It will feedback you like tool statues or a run screen statue. So if you have a, like an overnight program running and you just want to check in the evening how far it is, is there any error or any problem appeared or is everything fine, you can just check that with your phone. We're gonna explain that 
in a different video.